Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about the next part of our flow that we have covered in the previous video. So in the previous video we have covered how we can launch a flow from a utility bar. Then we have talked about there were two options while uh, in the screen flow while user we are using their flow. Either they wanted to check the existing case or they wanted to create a new case. So for the existing case, we have already created the complete flow. And here in this video, we will talk about how we are going to approach the new case functionality. So if you have missed the previous video, you will get the link in the description. Please go ahead, watch that video. Once that video is complete, then you can continue this video because this is the continuation of the previous video. And some of on the flow is already developed. We will be just modifying that flow. So here what we will be doing is whenever a user select new case we are going to give the user to provide the input related to the case like name this is going to have two things value uh, first name and last name then the email what is the email of a customer then subject what is the reason for creating a case and then what is the description for that particular case what kind of issue they are having or what is the information that they are looking for. Now let's quickly see how we are going to approach this, how we are going to solve this problem because we have already seen how we can solve the existing case problem. Now we have started as an admin, we have started the development of our flow builder or we are already having an existing flow that we are going to modify. So we will have a decision which is already there in place. We will check if it is a new case, yes. We are going to ask the user to input some information like uh, their first name, the last name, what is the email subject and all those things. Once the user click on next, we are going to do the query on the contact object based on the email that user has provided. So we will look for an existing contact over here. If there is the existing contacts, that means if the contact founds, we are going to create a new case under that existing contact. If the contact is not found, we are going to create a new contact with the information provided like email, first name and last name. Then we are going to create the new case under that newly created contact that we have just created. After that, we are going to check if the case is created, then we are going to display the success message. If case is not created, we are going to display the error message. So this is the approach that we are going to follow over here. Before we get started, please do like, share, subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from the channel. Now let's quickly navigate to your org. I hope you have already watched the previous video and then uh, you are here, you already have the flow in your place. So this is the flow that we have added in the utility bar which has existing case and new case. So now we are going to work on the, this new case functionality. If you select new case, there is nothing so far in this. Okay, you see here we are already here. Now what we will be doing is we will be getting back over here. This is our flow. We are going to click on save as we are saving our flow so that we can create a new version. Okay. Now this decision box here, it says, okay, existing case is selected. Now new, new case is selected. Once new case is selected, we need to have a screen. So we will just add a new screen. We will say new case screen. And here what we need is, first thing that we need is the name, the name of our customer. So we'll say, okay, just go ahead and click on name. Then we have, uh, what we have is label, just make it as full name. Then we will be needing the subject. So for that we will have, okay, we need email first. So we'll just go ahead and put on email. Then after email, make sure that email is required. So we'll make it as a required over here. We'll also make sure that the details about the first name and last name are basically required. So if we have that option to make it as required, then we can make that. So we don't see that there is any option to make record. So let's quickly make this as, as it is. Now we need a subject. So just go ahead and use text field. We'll have got text field. And we will make it a subject. And this is going to be required field. Then we need a description that is going to be text area. So we'll select long text area and that's already there here. Just say that case description and make this as well as as the required. 
we need one thing which is a type of tick list which is a reason so just go ahead and put tick list between subject and description this is a tick list and we will say reason make it as required now this is a pick list field so we are going to create a pick list choice set just click here and click on new choice resource and select pick list choice set okay and we will say that where region choice what is the object our object is case that we are working what is the data type pick list what field it is reason okay we are just going to click on done so we have just created a simple screen which is having all the input parameters that we need next what we need is we need to query to the account sorry to the contact based on the email that is there in this screen click on plus and select get records so my label is a sql existing contact record so i'll just search for contact object what is a field i will search based on the email field equal to whatever i have got email on the screen component and what is the value i just need first record whatever the record i found and then click on done once we have done the record like we queried the record we need to go ahead click on plus add a decision here we will check if the contact is found or not so our label is check if contact is found or not and then what we will see is whatever the query we have done so this is the query sorry collect uh, from sql existing okay contact and we will say id if the contact id is null false that means contact is there okay if it is null if contact is found that means the contact is created if contact is not found we have to create a contact so let's go ahead and create a contact so for that we will use create records and we will say create contact record we have one record we are going to use separate resources and what object it is contact object field we have first name then we have last name then we have email these are the fields that we basically need now what we will have is we will have first name we already have okay we have name full name is the screen component under that we will get first name then we will have last name similarly we will do first uh, full name and then we will say last name and for email you already know you have got email and value so this is what we are going to do and we will click on save uh, just go ahead and save your progress of your flow now we have created a contact record what we need to do is we need to add a fault path if there is any error while creating the contact record we will display the error message so just go ahead and click on plus click error sorry screen here we will say that contact error screen and, and we are going to use display text to display the error and what we will say here so i have given the api name as contact create error then we said error while cre creating contact record and this is the error you already know how to display that error if there is an error we are here okay now if there is no error we are going to create a case record so let's quickly go ahead click on plus and say create case sorry create record and here we will say that create case record we are going to create single record so we will use separate values our object is case object and field values we are going to have what we have contact id okay uh, then we have got uh, subject then we have got description we have got reason as this is created from utility bar we are going to have status and priority okay these are the fields we are going to map now here what we will say is contact what we from where we got is we are creating a contact so just scroll down here under variables you see contact id from create contact records just select that for subject you already have a text component description again you have got case description reason just search for reason over here sorry reason and you will see there is something a screen component called reason pick list okay select that then status is always going to new priority is going to be high that's what we have just created a case now go ahead and click on done now if there is any error just go ahead add a fault path over here so you just click on the element add a fault path and here we will be displaying the error for case creation error 
and then we are going to end our flow sorry if there is no error then we are going to have a screen which is going to have a success screen so we will have display text over here and we will say that case created successfully and that's what we are going to have here we say that case created successfully we've just got case creation okay we're not putting anything else nothing fancy nothing extra just put that message over here and then click on done and then at the end just select again and then end the path end this particular default outcome and just go ahead and click on save your progress so we have got this progress saved still there is one which is remaining for default outcome when the contact is not found we will go ahead and click on plus and we will say that case creates an error you already know what to display over here we will just display let's uh, first put the api name as error message we are going to display whatever the error is flow dot fault message in a red color that's it so our this default outcome whenever the contact is not found then we are going to create a contact create a case display the success screen if there is any error just route them to the fault path then if the contact is found immediately we need to create a case record so we'll go ahead okay click on plus and we will just go ahead and click on create record and we will say that create a new case record and click on this use separate and we will select case this is what we are going to create and then we will have multiple values like contact id then what is the subject what is a description what is reason then we will have something called a status and priority priority is again going to be high status is going to be new reason we already have a pick list field is under the screen component description is similarly we have got case description subject is also there and then one thing that we have to do is we have to find the contact so we will say okay contact now from where we will find that contact we will find contact from sql existing contact record we will select that and type id now we are having contact and every single thing is over here like we are just creating a case again it is risky we are making a dml operation there might be some error so we have to go ahead and add a fault path as well over here and then we have to again add error screen okay now what we can do is from here we can connect to this particular screen because this is what we are we are displaying the error message for both the cases so we'll just go ahead connect to element and we have to connect to this particular case creation screen and if there is no error we will add we will click on plus we will uh, say again we are going to connect to which screen we are going to connect to success screen okay so now if there is any error uh, if there is no error display the success if there is any error go to the error component okay we'll go ahead and click on save so this is like the flow that we have just developed the complete flow i'm going to display what we have here so if a case is if a new case is selected take the input from the user then check if the contact is there if contact is there create the case under that contact if contact is not there first create a contact then create a case and based on the outcome so success or error message now as we have done the flow we are going to click on debug and here we are going to debug the flow okay so we are just going to figure out what is a what are the cases that we already have so let's quickly come back over here so these are the this is the contact email which i have got so i i will use the contact which is already there with the email okay so go ahead check your status uh, like on the debug mode of your flow click on run we will select existing case click on next now i will provide anything i can provide over here for email i'm putting okay i'll say debug case flow for reason i'm going to select equipment and then again this is just a simple description okay i will go ahead and click on next so you see here we've got case created successfully but on the right hand side if you see what is happening how the case is run uh, sorry flow is running we've got this welcome screen new case okay new case was selected we got the new case screen where we have got all these inputs and these are the outputs along with the output and every single thing right then it checks if there is a contact it says that successfully found the record then it did created okay this is our contact id 
then it did created a new case which is 505 okay if i copy the id of our case and get back to our application replace the id in the url so as soon as i will hit enter this is going to take me to the newly created case which we have just created so you can see the subject is debug case flow the contact is already associated over here and then these are the details like what is the case reason subject and description what is the case number right what is the contact phone because we are already associating with the contact so this is the one testing criteria that we had if the contact is already there again i'm just going to go ahead and click on run again i will select new case and this time i'm going to use something else say that flow demo okay i have say okay flow demo youtube email i'm just going to put okay flow demo at yt.com i'm just putting some random emails okay this time subject is going to be uh, whatever we have got equipment design let's quickly put something extra over here for the description i go ahead and click on next it says that case created successfully now it took the different route okay how we will see here just go ahead to the top okay a new case choice okay this is what we have this is an, a check if new case was selected it says that okay new case was selected then this is the screen that we have got we have provided all the values over here then it says that so called existing contact record failed to find records we did not find any record okay then it says that check if contact is found it says that default outcome executed now if you get back to your flow what is the default outcome which is creating the contact record then it came back created a contact with this particular id created a case record then it actually executed the final screen we can just go ahead copy the id again of the case replace in the url just hit the enter now what will happen we will see the next case the newly created case that we have just created now the contact is also created okay if you see here the contact is created this is a email uh, this is the name of the contact these are the case details you can also get back to the details tab and you see here how the case is created now as we have done the debug successfully i'm going to go ahead and activate this flow after the flow is active okay i will get back over here in this screen i will refresh this page um, the reason i'm refreshing is so that we can get that flow in the utility bar as well so you can see here we have got case flow this time i'm going to select new case and click on next now you see here i've got every single thing that i have i'm going to say that okay amit that is just a simple thing okay i'll say amit saying i'll use my email which is sfdcpanther at the red gmail.com i will say generator is not working the reason is installation and we will say generator is not working okay click on next so the case is successfully created we have got previous and uh, finish button you can just go ahead and click on finish and you will again get back to this screen which is saying that okay we have got this now one thing that you might have seen is we are not actually able to see what is the case number in our screen okay if you want to display the case number what you need to do is after this success is there you have to do a query okay you have to put a query and now you need to figure it out which outcome is executed and how you are going to do the query so th this is basically the simple case uh, which i have uh, shown you like you can even uh, combine this case uh, case create creation at one step you might need to follow something else but uh, that can be done i have just shown you the simple way so that you can create and you can just do the debug and this is working fine so this is it for this video thank you for your time and uh, if you have any questions or any scenarios please feel free to email us into the email which is there in the description also please do like share subscribe the channel click on the bell icon subscribe our new channel you will get in the link in the video as well sorry in the description of the video and uh, in the next video we are going to talk about how we can display the toast message whenever a success uh, a record is created or even uh, something we want to some, somewhere we want to display the toast message that can be any kind of toast that we will see in the next video thank you